Alright. Everybody, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time we entered a giant fish. Fish! That is how you pronounce it. Alright, you were more useful than I expected. Alright, come over here. Well! I'm sorry, Rudo. You're gonna have me repeat this whole thing, aren't you? <sighs> oh god, please don't have me repeat the whole carrying sequence. Oh, this will be awful if it actually does have me repeat the whole carrying sequence from the beginning. Yep. Sorry, Rudo. I didn't leave you behind. It was more like I threw you in the water. You know, you being Azora, I would expect you to be able to swim. Yep. Speed running tax. Alright, we already killed. We already killed those things. Alright, bubble. Bubble, just don't attack Rudo. Let's repeat this. I find this amusing. Rudo activates the switch. It's super effective. Well, I just got hit again. Alright, so this now comes all the way down here. We can go down there for something, but I don't want to go down there. Because <coughs> down there sucks. Now you might remember this room. This is the second room of the dungeon. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go over here now that now we're back on top. I believe the first room we want to go into is Listen. this switch. It doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone. Well, what if we had a partner? Alright. Return of the Manta Rays. So yeah, don't throw Rudo into the water. That's bad. Use your slingshot to dispense these guys. Now what will we find in here? Just just a plain old boomerang. You know, not the Dungeon's treasure or anything. Alright. So uh slingshot, it was nice knowing you, but well we have boomerang now. Boomerang is superior to every way. Well, except for it can't go. So these things are cool. 
Watch out! Electricity is running through this red slimy thing. Very descriptive. Now these things, you can just run past. But if you really want to kill them, then just use your boomerang. Or your head. Your head also works. Your body also works well for this. Anyone else? Anyone else? I'm up for a nice chat. Alright, this switch. You just need to place Rudo on. And then you got... You got a red slimy thing. This guy is actually kind of... These, these things are actually kind of a pain to fight. These things are actually kind of a pain to fight. But... Alright, we got it. We got it. I don't know why I'm sucking so bad today. Last episode we were doing great. You found a dungeon map. Your current location is the flashing room. Alright. I'm gonna put milk on. I'm actually gonna take a nice swig of milk. I'm gonna take milk off. You know what? I'll put I'll put the thing on there. So now we got rid of the red slimy thing. So if you remember, uh, we had a little warning about that. How inconsiderate! How could you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one. Take responsibility. Actually, the red slimy thing is gone. That must be because you cut the red tail. Will it work with the other ones too? I don't know. That's a good question there. Alright. So these guys, the easy way to kill them is target, target them with boomerang. Not what I mean to do, but it works. You could also try to sword slash them, but... I keep on hitting the wrong button. And there's one more, right? Yep. I could, but boomerang. Now this one, I'm not entirely sure if this one's required to do, but hey, we're in the area. You get the compass! So another item I don't use. Alright. Alright, Rudo. We're going on an adventure. Is there a lava in that stomach? No, this is called the electrified... No. 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 And no. Oh boy. That's how you kill them. Too bad they won't they won't stay dead. You, you get to live. We friends, we friends. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we got a blue fucker. You see, you see, the battle strategy here is not to get hit, and what we did was we got hit. You gotta notice that many times when the battle strategy is not to get hit, we get hit. Such as that.
Alright, so now we got rid of the blue. The blue slimy tentacle. So that means we go through this door. Yeah, see these guys respawn, so don't worry about killing them, honestly. I just kill them because they're getting, getting annoying. Alright. See, the green guy is And also now we can kill Jellyfish. Safely. Oh boy. These guys are kind of a pain to fight. Especially when you're on my PC controls. Otherwise, I may have not made the best controls for this game. That's alright. Three hits of Boomerang and they're dead. And now we got rid of the green. The green guy. So now, if we go through here, what you may have noticed that I didn't show off was there's actually a good reason for us to do that. It's now this is no longer blocked, whereas beforehand it would be blocked. And basically, you're just gonna come through here with Rudo. That's it. That's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there. Hey, that looks like a spiritual stone. I'm gonna have to take that from you, you know. <coughs> that is a spiritual stone. On, throw me on the platform. Okay. Now, now quickly, throw me the stone. Princess Ru Rudo got the spiritual stone, but why Princess Rudo? Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. Now that I have found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. So, take me home right now. Do we have to... I guess we do. Oh. Bye, have a good time. What's this, an octopus? <coughs> well, that is not Princess Rudo. I'm gonna go with this is not Princess Rudo. Alright, so, strategy with this guy. Alright, he just pause him, then when he flips around, Throw the boomerang at him and pray you land on his side. Pray you land on his backside. And then quickly throw the boomerang again, otherwise, he'll start charging at you. Ah. You can take many tries. And as long as you're careful, you shouldn't really take damage from this guy. Also, this should be obvious, don't hit the spikes on the floor. On the thing right there. And no, he doesn't take damage from it. Don't, don't try to ramp him in. Well, I don't know why I had it along for him, but that works. Oh boy! Someone got a little feisty over here. If he does run into run into, then he will start charging from the other side. So if you do get hit, then use that to your advantage. All right. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, it's not too bad. He gets four regular sword strikes, so I did like 
two and then two jump attacks and then one regular short slice. And now the spikes are gone. And now we're all by ourselves. At least there's no more carrier mechanic. Except, you know, the princess is waiting on us. Alright, this is a kind of cool mechanic. Alright. This right here. Get rid of this guy as soon as you can. So he's gonna be nothing but trouble for you. But basically, what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed. To, it's similar to the octopus, so he actually teaches you another mechanic of this of this dungeon, which is throw things with your boomerang to stun them. So. You paralyze that, and you can actually walk on top of that like I was trying to before an octopus hit me. Just jump onto this one before the first one freezes over. Well, thaws out. As you can call it. And let's step on this platform, because this is random. And it permanently makes this a th thing now. So that's cool. And we're back in the se uh, second room. This is actually a very important room. All right, so this this area can get interesting. Not really. Bring one of these boxes over. Step on here. But wait, what happens when we step off? So you're gonna want to wait. And since there's no Princess Rudo. Boxes work. <laughs> All right. Now to make this room nice and simple on you. the uh, annoying annoying things you see. That's right, they're not jellyfish, they're annoying things. I don't think I see any more, so that's good. And now the cool thing about this is we can use the boomerang to obtain items. You destroyed a gold sculpture eye. You, you got a token proving you destroyed it. Oh, that, that will not do. So this... What you're supposed to do is... Find the proper angle to throw this, so that way it hits the switch. Sadly, we don't have we don't have Princess Rudo around, so she can't hit the switch for us. Well, now we go. Now we go. And you might notice on our compass it says there's a giant skull. Ignore that skull. It's not like that's mean there's a boss nearby or anything. Now I am kind of dreading this boss because this boss is actually a boss that has very, multiple phases. Unlike Goma and Dodongo, you actually need half a brain to do this fight. And anyway, another sad story time, this boss also gave me a lot of trouble when I was a kid. And I beat him by pure luck. So, start off by paralyzing each of these. Alright. Just throw your boomerang at, at it. You should be fine. And he's gonna launch into this phase. Now, uh, this phase is a bit of a doozy. 
and I'll slowly work on destroying these jellyfish as they become untargetable. Basically, your goal is to eliminate the jellyfish. So, knock out all the jellyfish you see. And obviously, the less jellyfish there are, the better. Alright, now he's gonna go around like this. So this, this phase can get interesting. What? Am I like clipped through? Eliminate jellyfish. Who we want? He's gonna start shooting at you. As you can see, PC controls are starting to not help. But as you ow. Now, I can see it's a lot easier to actually kill a jellyfish. And now he's abandoned all hope of using jellyfish. Now he's gonna straight out of sight you with electricity. But this is when he can actually attack him. Just get, just get your jumps going. Just get your jumps. So there's gonna be a little bit of this. He's just gonna shoot some nice electricity at you. I can't really do anything during this phase. Just don't worry about it too much. Are you ready with the slashes though? You can do this for expert traps. Jump around. Now this right here is not expert strats. And he's dead. Now that could have gone better, but that's alright. Because he is no more. And those those jars will give you a health, so that's kill. Cool. Make sure you pick up your heart container. Or don't, it's up to you, I'm not your dad. Your life your life energy will be totally filled and you'll get an extra heart. Hey there. You, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. Ah, knock off, knock us off the log. Why don't you? Oh, you, you looked cool, cooler than I thought you would. Anyway, just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want that spiritual stone. You mean the spiritual stone of water? You are a sapphire, don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. <laughs> you might call the Zora's engagement ring. Wife me up. Why don't... Wife me up. I'm gonna wife Zora up. 
not waifu material. Not waifu material. Not, not, not a recommended chip. <laughs> Alright. I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora's Sapphire. You obtained Zora's Sapphire. This is a spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about. But you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. Don't tell my father. Otherwise, he might be a bit upset that his daughter got wifed. Alright. So we're gonna make our way. I'm going the wrong way. Alright, we're gonna go back. So as we're going back, I can't believe we already have all three spiritual stones, we have nine hearts. And now we get to go back to see Princess Zelda and see how we're gonna foil Gandor's plan. Our uh, shortcut down the river that you might wanna know is go down here. And this also nets you a fair bit of rupees. Now, I'm not... We're going to end the episode off here, right before we go back to see Princess Zelda. If you guys like the episode, please like and subscribe. I think we made a good amount of progress today. And in the next episode, we will go and see Princess Zelda and see what happens there. <laughs>